now it's time for my sixth game of Jeopardy for the PlayStation game console. Which so far in only five games I've won $187,000. Only $13,000 stands in the way of $200,000. Let's see if I can reach it this game. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, so one human and two computer players. Yep. Player one, what's your name? Let's play some Jeopardy for the PlayStation as we get ready to do my sixth game. And as I try to add on my $187,000. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Game six for the PlayStation. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy. Thank you, Alex Trebek. Let's see if you like these first round categories. On stage. Food facts. Wise guys. Y in quotation marks. Artists and their subjects. English grammar. History. Player one, let's begin. On stage for 100. <clears throat> he and his half brother Sean appeared together on Broadway in the musical Blood Brothers. Who is David Cassidy? On stage for 200. <clears throat> In 1995, Jerry Lewis made his Broadway debut as the devilish Mr. Applegate in this musical. What is Damn Yankees? Yes, indeed. Broadway, or no. All right, pick again. Rather, on stage for 300. <clears throat> B.B. Newworth won a 1997 Tony for playing a homicidal hussy named Velma in this musical revival. What is Chicago? That's correct. On stage for 400. All right, take again. This playwright adapted the 1993 musical The Goodbye Girl from his own screenplay of the 1977 film. Who is Neil Simon? I'll take on stage for 500. Stockard Channing starred on Broadway in a 1997 revival of this woman's Little Foxes. Who is Lillian Hellman? Exactly. Right. Food facts 100. The traditional sauce served with roast lamb contains confectioner sugar, vinegar, and these leaves. What are mint leaves? One. Why, yes. Food facts for 200. All right, pick again. A Genoise is a light sponge cake whose name is derived from this city. What is Genoa? One. 
That's right. You're in first place all by yourself. How it should be. Food facts for 300. Fanny Farmer's recipe for beef a la Lindstrom calls for two of these boiled and mashed. There one. What are potatoes? Exactly. Food facts are 400. All right, pick again. Jan in the sock, or John in the bag, is a dessert from this African country. What is South Africa? Nope, not South America. South Africa. That's right. Food facts are 500. All right, pick again. This variety meat, the lining of a ruminant stomach, is usually sold blanched and parboiled. Player three. What is tripe? Exactly. Yep. All right, player three. Okay, now we're going to history for 100. Concerning his relations with Josephine, he said, I generally had to give in. Who is Napoleon Bonaparte? Yes, indeed. History for 200. All right, player one. While hiding at Wartburg Castle during 1521-22, he translated the New Testament into German. Player three. Who is Martin Luther? Right you are. Player three, what will it be? Artists and their subjects, 100. His 1891 painting of a street in Tahiti is <clears throat> in the Toledo Museum of Art. Uh, who is Paul Gauguin? Yes. Artists and their subjects for 200. Your turn, player one. Thomas Sully's 1815 portrait of this orator is in the Colonial Williamsburg collection. Not too sure about this one. Patrick Henry? That's it. Okay. Player three. English grammar 100. Also known as an interrogation mark, it ends an interrogative sentence. What is a question mark? Player one. Exactly. All right. Okay, test for one. English grammar for 200. Generally, adverbs end with these two letters. What are L, Y? one. Correct. All right. English okay. grammar for 300. It's the word used incorrectly in the sentence, my friend and myself attended the party. What is myself? Here one. Mystery. Why, yes. I'll take English grammar for 400. Can, may, and should are considered auxiliary ones. What are verbs? Here one. That's correct. English grammar 500. It's acceptable to end a sentence with one of these parts of speech, as in, she knew what to look for. What is a preposition? To be sure. Yay. Artists and their subjects for 300. Answer. Daily double. Daily double. 4,200. Daily one. 800. Picasso's family of Saltenbach shows people who work for one of these spectacles. What is a circus? There one. Could have gone more, but I didn't know what the clue was going to be. That's it, exactly. Yes! Uh, Artists and their subjects for 400. In 1930, she created a series of paintings of a jack in the pulpit. Who is Georgia O'Keeffe?
That's it, exactly. I misspelled her last name, but that's okay. Alright, think again. Uh, and I'll take artists and subjects for 500, please. Raymond Schneider sculpted this biblical couple for a chapel in Würzburg, Germany. Who are Adam and Eve. Eve. Yes. Oh, History for 300. In 1883, this train made its first run from Paris to Istanbul. What is the Orient Express? Oops. That's it. History for 400. All right, thank you. The 1839 Treaty of London gave the French-speaking part of this Grand Duchy to Belgium. There one. Okay, then I'm gonna say what is uh Luxembourg. Yeah! Right, and history for five, please. In the 480 BC Battle of Salamis, the Greeks beat this empire's fleet led by Xerxes. Player three. The Persian Empire? You are correct. Okay. It's your turn. We have one category left, which is wise guys. Let's start with a hundred. In 1992, this Russian leader addressed the joint session of our Congress. Who's Boris Yeltsin? Correct. 200. Player one, it's your turn. Following his donation to the Collegiate School in New Haven in 1718, the school was renamed for him. Who is Yale? One. Exactly. 300. Alright, think again. This Irish poet and playwright helped found what's now known as the Abbey Theatre. Uh, who is William Butler Yeats? Right again. All right, think again. Four hundred. During World War One, this soldier of the 328th Infantry, 82nd Division, captured a German machine gun battalion. Player two. Alvin York. That's it, exactly. Yeah. And to finish the board. Let's close out the round. This new age performer who recorded live at the Acropolis, was once on the Greek national swimming team. Who is Yanni? Player one. Correct. A perfect Jeopardy round. Oh, well, I didn't get every clue right, but... Let's look at the total scores. Right now I'm in the lead with 7,700. Player three is 1,400. Player two is 4,000. Uh, player two rather is 400. Nobody got any clues wrong that round, so that was a pretty good first round for everybody. Let's play Double Jeopardy. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. All right, let's. With that 7,700, right now my run stands over $194,000 as I get closer to that magical number of $200,000. But in the meantime, let's focus on Double Jeopardy. And now the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. They are as follows. Old Testament. I wish I'd said that. The Middle Ages. USA. Sweets. TV of the 90s. Okay. This time, Player 2 will start us off. Starting with Old Testament for 200. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, oh. whose name was Delilah. Who is Samson? Yes, indeed. Let's take All right, Old Testament for 400. He was a spry 600 when the flood of waters was upon the earth. Who is Noah? Noah? Exactly. 
He's the one. Old Testament for 600. All right, pick again. 8,300 right now. As part of his suffering, he was smitten with sore boils from head to toe by Satan. Player one. I'm going to say who was Job. Correct. Yes. The Old Testament for 800. Psalm 122 says, Pray for the peace of this city. They shall prosper that love thee. What is Jerusalem? Right you are. Old Testament for a thousand. After Abel's murder, Cain settled in this land, east of Eden. What is Nod? Right you are. Well done in that category. All right, thank you. Ten thousand seven hundred. Now I wish I'd said that for two hundred. W. S. Gilbert wrote, "In for a penny, in for this. It's love that makes the world go round." What is a pow? Now pouch, pound. Yes. I wish I'd said that for four hundred, please. All right, thank you. This comedian signature line is, I don't get no respect. Who is Rodney Dangerfield? Yes, indeed. Okay. I wish I'd said that for 600. In 1995, her son, the governor of Texas, told her, don't brag. Player three. Who is Rose Kennedy? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. No, first wrong clue, all game. Barbara Bush. I was going to say that, but... Oh well. I wish I'd said that for 800, please. In reference to this man's 14 points, Clemenso said, The good Lord had only 10. I'll say who is Martin Luther. No. No. Nope. Second wrong clue all game. Player three. Woodrow Wilson? Oh, yeah! Sure. Woodrow Wilson, of course. Your choice, player three. We're going on. Sweets for 200. In names of thin, crisp cookies, this word follows brandy and ginger. Player one. What a snack. Yes. Your turn, player one. Sweets for 400. The joy of cooking contains recipes for the vanilla, molasses, and salt water types of this candy. What is taffy? Player one. Why, yes. You've got a commanding lead. That I do. All right. I'll take sweets for 600. The name of this candy, made from sugar and egg whites, is a synonym for God good. What is divinity? Player one. Right you are. Sweet 300. All right, pick again. This Dallas-based department store calls its chocolate, caramel, and nut confections Texas Bragg. What is Neiman Marcus? Player one. Right you are. Right, Sweets for a thousand. The Dobos Tort is glazed with this cooked sugar substance. What is caramel? Player one. Right you are. Yes. Alright, pick again. I will close out. I wish I'd said that for a thousand. Yeah, oh boy! <laughs> Let's just do 1500. This first Indian Prime Minister said, A light is ordered by values. Take a look at your monitor. First Indian Prime Minister. Uh... Player one? I know this is wrong. 
But I'm just going to say who was Gandhi. Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. Oh, well. Jawaharlal Nehru. So I dropped down to 12,000. Still in the lead. I'll take the Middle Ages for 200. In 1430, this maid of Orleans fell into the hands of the Burgundians, who turned her over to the English. I don't know. Player three. Joan of Arc? Oh, yeah. Why, yes. Your choice, player three. At least I'm still leading. That's the main thing. Middle Ages for 400. Later, Bishop of Lincoln Robert Grosseteste was Chancellor of this university circa 1215 to 1221. Okay, um, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to take a guess and say what is Oxford. Sure. All right. Your choice, player one. The Middle Ages for 600, please. Domenico Morosini, who became Doge in 1148, extended this city's rule to Istria. What is Venice? Venice, Italy, of course. Right you are. I'll take uh, the Middle Ages for 800. The new Rome it withstood assault by Russians and Bulgars, but was captured by Ottomans in 1453. Player two? Constantinople? Yes, indeed. Now known today as Istanbul. Okay, player two. USA for 200. At least 120 of these hot water spouts in Yellowstone National Park have names, including Giant and Clepsidra. What are geysers? Yes. Player one. USA 400. North and south sections of I-95 join at the eight-lane Fort McHenry Tunnel in this city. Player two. Baltimore. That's it. Yep. Player two. Your turn. Now it's TV of the 90s for 200. 1998 saw this NBC sitcom with Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer sign off the air. What is Seinfeld? Everyone? To be sure. TV of the 90s for 400. Okay, contestant one. On his show, Kathy Kinney plays Mimi. A contentious co-worker in Blue Eye Shadow. What is the... Uh, who is Drew Carey? Current host of The Price is Right, of course. Yes. Alright, pick again. TV of the 90s for 600. The apartment complex located at 4616 on this title L.A. street is home to some foxy lady. What is Melrose Place? Never really watched the show too much, but I've heard about it. Yes, indeed. TV of the oh, 90s for 800. She plays Roma Downey's angel boss on Touched by an Angel. Who is Della Reese? Everyone? Correct. TV of the 90s for a thousand. All right, thank you. Again. In 1997, <sighs> this show's live season premiere drew 43 million viewers to NBC. What is ER? Everyone? That's it. USA for 600, please. The Atchafalaya Floodway and the Bonnet Carry Spillway help control flooding in this I'm not too state. sure about this one. Player two? Is it Louisiana? Exactly. It is Louisiana. What'll it be, player two? USA for 800. The easternmost point of this state's outer banks is on Cape Hatteras National Seashore. What is North Carolina? Not North Church, North Carolina. Right you are. Okay, contestant. I'll take USA for a thousand. And the other day they double. Seventeen thousand is what I have. Three thousand. Meaning foot of the mountain 
It's the name of the area between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Atlantic Ocean. What is the, uh, what is Piedmont? That's it? Yes! This town began to grow in importance after the Capetians made it their capital in 987. Player two? What is Paris? That's correct. It is indeed Paris. All right, that brings us to the end of the double Jeopardy round. Okay. Let's take a look at the score. Player three has 1,800. Player two has 3,200. While I have a massive lead of $20,000. So it's another runaway game. I cannot be caught. Looks like we're going to have a fight for second place. Looks like it. 187 thousand dollars is what I have when I add that 20 grand what I have so far that's over two hundred thousand dollars here's the category for final jeopardy it is the Old Testament the Old Testament okay player three we have your wager please player two your wager please player one I'll do five thousand dollars. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. The feast of Passover is mentioned first mentioned in this book. I'm going to say what is Exodus. Let's see how if I'm right, I go to twenty five thousand dollars. If I'm wrong, I go down to fifteen thousand. Either way, I still have a win. Player three, your question. Sorry, that's it is not Genesis. Let's see how much it costs you. It's going to cost you all 1800 You drop down to nothing. Yeah, you'll get them next time. Ah, uh, no you won't. Player two, let's take a look at your question. No. Not Genesis. Sorry. What's that going to cost you? It's going to cost you everything. You're going to drop to nothing. Player one, your I player. said Exodus. Very good. Yep. Now. What was your wager? Five thousand. So I go to twenty-five thousand dollars. That you in the lead. So a seventh game is definitely guaranteed. In which right now my run currently stands at two hundred twelve thousand dollars. So I will be doing a seventh game in the future. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. I had a great time, indeed. So, in my run of Jeopardy for the PlayStation, I have over $200,000. $212,000 is my exact total. And I could be making it to $300,000 very soon. So what are you going to do? Okay. And I'll let you all listen and watch.